Hello, I am your teacher, Gary Rainier. Welcome to Activate Your Grammar. Today, you are going to learn about the expressions there is and there are. For native Spanish speakers, these two short phrases can sometimes be a little difficult. Why? Because in Spanish, there is only one word for both of these expressions, the word hay. Here are some examples. Hay un libro en la mesa. There is a book on the table. Hay tres carros en el garaje. There are three cars in the garage. Hay un hombre afuera. There is a man outside. As you can see from the examples, the word hay in Spanish can be either there is or there are in English. The video will now stop and you will have an activity to practice identifying the expressions there is and there are in English sentences. Okay, so now the big question is, when do we use there is and when do we use there are? The answer is really quite simple. We use there is for all singular sentences and we use there are for all plural sentences. Here are some examples of singular sentences. There is a book on the desk. There is a TV in the living room. There is a picture on the wall. Here are some examples of plural sentences. There are three chairs in the classroom. There are many students in the library. There are five apples in the kitchen. Now, there is one other rule to learn. We use the singular there is with nouns that are not countable. Here are some examples. There is milk in the fridge. There is some sugar on the table. Good. Now, let's look at the negative sentence. To form a negative sentence with there is and there are, you just add the word not. Here are some examples. There are not any students in the library. There is not a test tomorrow. Now, to ask a question, you change the order of the words. There is equals is there, and there are equals are there. Here are some examples. Are there any students in the library? Is there an apple on the table? So, as you can see from the examples, it doesn't matter if the sentence is positive, negative, or a question. You must always use there is for singular and there are for plural. The video will now stop and you will have an activity to practice using there is and there are. Congratulations! Now you know how to use there is and there are. I will see you back here again for the next lesson. Good luck!